gas insulated switchgear is surely an advanced technology when we compare it with the other available options in the switchgear and surely it is getting momentum in the recent few years in this video we are going to talk about all the major advantages offered by the gas insulated switchgear technology first things first gas insulated switchgear is not a new technology it's more than 50 years the gis technology is available in the market surely it is performing really well and it offers a lot many advantages over the other available technology but certainly it's not a new technology please keep that thing in mind So the first and the most important advantage that we get by using the GIS technology is the compactness or I should say the super compactness. Now when we use air insulated switchgear we have to use the air as an insulating medium between the two different phases. Now since the dielectric property or the insulating property of the air is not very high we need to have significant amount of distance between the two phases to achieve the required dielectric strength or the required insulating strength. And hence, as a result, uh, the overall substation, the overall switchyard becomes very, very huge. We need huge amount of land to build such substation when we use air insulated switchgear. But in case of gas insulated switchgear, we use some sort of insulating gas other than the air. Like for example, most commonly used SF6 gas. Now the dielectric property of the SF6 gas is far more better compared to the air and as a result in a small space in a small compartment we can squeeze all the equipments that we use and we can reduce the size of overall substation and that's a, it's a huge reduction that we have why because the dielectric strength of the insulating gas like sf6 is far more better than the air so just to give you one example we have 145 kv bay of a gas insulated switch gear you can see it can be comfortably fitted into a 10 feet by 10 feet room but if you want to fit a 145 kv air insulated switch gear then we would need 10 to 12 such rooms to accommodate all the switch gears that we have so you can imagine the super compactness the gas insulated switch gear offers over the air insulated switch gear now this is very very advantageous for the populated cities like for example mumbai now in mumbai the rate of land is skyrocketing now if you want to build a air insulated substation there you have to procure huge amount of land and the cost of that could break the banks so Instead of that, what I can do is I can get the gas insulated switch gear and put it inside a very compact room and I'm done. In such scenarios, the gas insulated switch gear becomes the savior and aesthetically also it looks neat and clean because it is enclosed inside a building. Now one more advantage it offers is that in case the power demand is growing and you need to increase the number of bays in the substation without adding the land then what we can do is we can replace the existing air insulated switch gear with the gas insulated switch gear and have more space to add more number of bays. One example you can see on your screen here initially there was uh, indoor gas air insulated switch gear which was replaced with the gas insulated switch gear now after the replacement you can see the land that is available now here i can surely add more number of bays and uh, supply the additional power that is demanded by the consumers without adding any additional lands The second most important advantage that the GIS offers is that it is highly suitable for the harsh environmental condition. Now if let's say you are using the air insulated switch gear in a factory in a cement factory where there is huge amount of pollution there is dust and dirt or maybe you are using it in the coastal area where there is uh, air is polluted or the dewness in the air is very very high. In such scenario, we need to carry out regular maintenance on the outer part of the air insulated switch gear. We call it as hotline washing. So the insulators are washed on a regular basis. If you don't do that, then there is a high possibility that dust and dirt that is getting accumulated on the surface of the insulator will cause flash and ultimately it will damage the whole system. So to avoid such scenarios, a regular maintenance is must. 
and that will for sure add to the maintenance cost uh, of the overall substation. But when we use a gas insulated switchgear, it, all the components, all the life part are enclosed into a metal, complete metal assembly. And as a result, uh, the complete GIS is immune to all sort of uh, environmental aspects. So dust, dirt, pollution, or maybe the dewness in the air, uh, it really doesn't affect the gas insulated switchgear, making it the best choice for such difficult environmental conditions. And also one more important point in this particular advantage is that uh, in gas insulated switchgear, there is no impact of the higher altitude levels. Now, when we go higher in the altitude levels, the dewness in the air increases. And as a result, you need to have more dielectric strength, more insulating strength uh, for the same voltage rating. So when we use air insulated switchgear, we need to uh, use maybe one rating higher switchgear to support that higher dielectric strength. That is the problem with air insulated switchgear with higher altitude application. But for GIS, uh, that is not the problem. It is installed in a building. Uh, it is completely metal encapsulated. So no impact on the higher altitude levels. The only thing we need to take care in case of GIS is that the bushing that we will be using, for example, air to SF6 bushing we are using, in that case, there will be the impact of the altitude. But for rest of the switch gear, zero impact of the higher altitude. And by the way, if you're finding my YouTube videos helpful, then I'm 100% sure that you are going to find the courses that I have created on different, different topics more useful. You'll find all the details of all the available courses on theelectricalguy.n. Just simply go to that website. I'll also provide a link for it down in the description. Check out all the available courses and believe me, it's really going to be super helpful to you. Link is provided down in the description. Now, as I mentioned, GIS is not a new technology. It's been more than 50 years that GIS is available in the market. And there has been continuous improvement in the GIS technology, which made it very, very reliable. Now, this improvement in the technology has made the GIS very, very dependable because you don't have to carry out regular maintenance on that. Normally, the major inspection on GIS is carried out after 20 to 25 years of operation. The first visual inspection is carried out after five to eight years of operation. So you can see uh, you don't have to do regular maintenance on that, uh, which makes it a very, very reliable option compared to the air insulated switchgear. Now for air insulated switchgear, we need huge amount of lag. And many of the times to get that huge land, we need to cut down the forest, we need to cut down the trees that are there on the land to build this substation. And for sure, that's an impact on the environment. But with the GIS option, you can fit everything into a one small building, one small room, uh, thereby reducing the impact on the environment. Now, this is in terms of the impact that is getting caused because of cutting down the trees I'm talking. Well, we still use the SF6 gas in the GIS, about which we will talk uh, later on because that is one of the problems with the GIS. So when we use GIS, we need small amount of lands, thereby we can save uh, the number of trees and also the land in that matter. Undoubtedly, the gas insulated switchgear is much more safer because the complete design of the gas insulated switchgear is a dead tank type design. That means the outer shell of the GIS is at the dead potential. So even if in the live condition, you can go and touch the outer part and nothing will happen. Of course, that is not recommended, but in case accidentally you touch, nothing will happen because everything is at the dead potential, which will offer 100% more safety than the air insulated switchgear. I'm not saying that the air insulated switchgear are not safe. Still, almost 70% of the substation in whole world uses the AIS technology. So for sure, I'm not questioning the safety that is there. But when we are comparing these two parameters, for sure the GIS will win the match uh, when we talk about the safety aspect. So the bottom line is GIS is more safer compared to the AIS technology. Now for sure, nothing is perfect. The GIS is also no exception in that. Now we have talked about a lot of major advantages it offers, 
but certainly there are also some of the drawbacks some of the disadvantages that are there uh, with the gas insulated switch gear now what are these drawbacks or disadvantages we are going to talk about that in the next video for that make sure you subscribe to the channel with bell notification icon turned on so that you won't miss any of the updates and if you like this video then you will also love the custom playlist that I have created on the switch gear. I'll provide a link for that down in the description. You can go and check it out and learn more about the switch gears. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.